What's up guys, Retro Django here, back with another Amiga 4000 video. Look what I just got delivered, this is just pure awesomeness. Now, most of my friends are saying, don't talk about what you're selling, what you're buying. Don't give up the numbers, some people get envy, some people have some hate in them. Don't share nothing, I will share everything. Envy and hateful people jump over and watch another video okay so I bought this Amiga 4000 model B got it fixed got it all cleaned got it all recapped used it for about a month I think made five six seven YouTube videos with this board works perfectly okay I've been fine with it <laughs> So one of my greatest friends in this community contacts me and he says, Retro Django, I have three or four Amiga 4000 motherboards that I want to sell. Uh, and we were talking and I have, you know, Danish group, international group, and I just made this um, sale, Commodore, all Commodore, all Amiga, sale, buy, trade, auction, valuation whatever you want it's all included no restrictions okay just make that page so he said we were talking should, should I put it in there should I make an auction and I said okay how are the condition of those Amiga 4000 boards and he said blah 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 and he has got a DCR model model D guys and I said what do you want for them and he said 800 per board and I was like dude wait a minute don't put it up for sale no, nowhere because because I have got this model B let me put it up for sale it's recap it works fine okay let me put this out for the same amount 800 bucks he said I could get a daughter board and the motherboard for 800 so what did I do I put these two for sale for 800 what happened a guy here in Denmark contacted me ASAP and he said that he has an Amiga 4000 he can't fix he has the case he has got everything but he needs a fully working board and he can see my videos that the board works fine and I showed everything's recap so he bought this in an instant he sent the money directly to the owner of this board and he just delivered this beauty to me now why retro Django? Why do you do something like this? You have got a perfectly working fine Amiga 4000 down here. Why do you want the Model D instead of the Model B? Now, if you go in and check out my Ultimate Amiga 4000 review video that I have got on this YouTube channel, then you will get all all the explanations about why I love the Model D. Okay, but just for making a long story short, of course my friend recapped it, so, and, and, and take the board that everything is just 10 out of 10. Now, this board, as you can see, the old revision B has got two megabyte chip RAM and the rest fast RAM, okay? So five RAM sockets. As you can see here, we have got four RAM sockets. That's because the built-in 2 megabyte chip RAM is just over here. Looks so nice, so beautiful. So chip RAM is built in. First point goes to the model D. Okay, next point here. As you can see, we have got a uh, 68030 at 25 megahertz running here. And I put an FPU in it. Yes. Um, so it has got the CPU board on this little PCB board, right? Talking about PCBs, let's check out PCB Way together. If you like stuff like this, go ahead and visit PCBWay.com. PCBWay offers a wide range of services like CNC manufacturing, 3D printing, sheet metal fabrication, injection molding and amazing PCB production. You can let PCBWay build your projects as a DIY solution or complete build solution. Go in and check out the link at the description down below for much more information. And if you are into Amiga 
just like me, go in and check how many great Amiga projects they have got in there. Welcome back. All right, so if we jump over to the Model D, as you can see, this little chip over here, it's the 68030 processor. Again, just like down here at 25 megahertz. So the CPU is built in, okay? As you can see, the CPU slot is just empty now. If I want an 060, I can just put that in. If not, I can just run it with the built-in 030 processor. Beautiful stuff. How about the FPU Retro Django? We have got the FPU here also. It's the 68882 at 40 megahertz. So FPU also built-in on board here. How great is that? Another point goes directly to this Model D. Okay, love it. Last but not least. Okay, the most important part is this area. The built-in water battery, if you haven't removed it since 1992-93, they will have some battery juice under the RAM, at the underside of the board, on, the, on, on all these chips, and this board had got some battery juice again like another a lot of other boards but this board has been cleaned up these chips are new and i i mean my, my my friend really cleaned this one up and i made a video showing everything cleaned up nice condition as you can see this board is working here um but on the model revision d commodore just exceeded themselves Look at this beauty! They came with a CR... What's it called? 2032, I think this battery is called. This didn't leak, just like those barrel Vata batteries. So this board has never been cleaned, because it never had no battery, just no issues, no problem, no trouble. Look at this, all original, nothing has been cleaned. It looks like 1992. Three. <laughs> uh, both boards has got the Super Buster 11 here. This is a new old stock he installed for me. And we got a Super Buster 11 here also. So that's nice. So only thing I'm missing here is installing the best kickstarts ever for the Amiga 1200, the Amiga 4000, which is kickstart 3.1. No headache, no trouble, no bubble. Click them in and everything works perfect, guys. I love it. I just wanted to share this little update with you guys. Let's go ahead and let's install it in the cabinet, in the case, and, and, and see how it works. Hey, <laughs> why not? I'm happy, my friend is happy, and I gained another Amiga guy friendship here in Denmark, so he's happy. My friend sold this DCR for 800 euros. The new guy got himself a perfect running Amiga 4000 board for 800 euros. They're both happy, and I got this one. I'm so happy. So everybody else is happy, so no hate, no emptiness. No drama! We hate drama! So, the Amiga is running, it's so beautiful, it's so nice, we have perfect picture quality, we have no vertical lines, we have nothing like that. This is just pure awesomeness, nothing has been repaired for no battery juice, nothing guys! The DCR is beautiful, I love it! So, yeah, audio, left, right channel, Perfect! It sounds like it was 1993. 
And the reason I say three is because revision D uh, uh, was a later revision, of course. The B came out in 92. So it works, guys. It's so cool. So before we end this video, you are going to say, but Retro Django, how about SysInfo? We have got SysInfo 4.0 here and we are going to press on speed and see that the onboard, this little chip, oh, this little chip, um, when you do stuff like this, wear a bracelet, don't do it like me, because if you do it like me, the Amiga will explode and the world will go under. So use those bracelets, okay? Remember that. So as you can see, we have got the 68030, we have got 25 megahertz, AGAL is two megabyte chip RAM, we got FPU 68882, that's totally unusable piece of piece, and it's totally cowabunga and everybody's happy. It's just so cool look at this we have got four thousand dry stones and four mips and 0.89 m flops who cares no one cares we have got 16 megabyte of ram on this board beautiful stuff and two megabyte chip ram it's just so awesome let's go on and check out drive drive reading speed which is the most important part of this beautiful build it has to be about Two megabytes as you can see 2.1 2.1 2.2.2.1 2.1 2.1 megabyte per second drive reading speed with this little build and i don't like loose long cables blah 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 i want everything building like this it's just it's so beautiful i'm, I'm am i gonna install um daughter board no i'm just gonna have it open like this so it just it's 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 beautiful and, and and nice looking and everything is just so cool the boards no boards oh that's nice and if we quit this if we quit and reboot workbench we don't have no keyboard but on the amiga when i never use the keyboard yo f10 to quit but nothing else <laughs> so you can't see it over there but the power led is on the drive blinking is on and it blinks red here and it blinks i couldn't see let's go into games it blinks yellow down there and we have got audio we have got everything going on mouse works port works joystick port works everything works it's just so cool let's check tower salt 88 and let's go with the most beautiful cpu the 68030 more than enough okay the 030 is just the sweet spot for gaming and two megabyte chip ram aga chipset 16 megabytes of fast ram you don't need nothing more My, i'm telling you everything over 16 megabytes of ram you can use it for what <laughs> oh one guy will write i watch youtube with my amiga i need a thousand megabytes of ram at least more power to you but everybody else that just enjoys the amiga just like the amiga this is a perfect setup man i'm happy and I hope that my happiness will jump over to you and you will sit there and smile and think what a great day it is today. <laughs> Thank you for watching everybody. Have a great day out there. Retro Jingo out.